Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily and for little money make cute versions of Elsa and Anna's crowns from the movie Frozen. So this glitter paper I got at my local dollar store, super inexpensive. If you don't have a die cutting machine, you can hunt down the image online and I'll show you how to do that here in a second and cut it out and use it as a template over the paper to cut out the paper that way. But if you, as I said, have the die cutting machine, you can go ahead and turn it into an SVG file and have your machine cut it out for you. So let's pop on over to the internet and I'll show you real quick how to hunt down some of these images so you can get them printed out or converted to an SVG. Okay, so go to whichever search engine you prefer to use. I use Google and you're just going to search Elsa Crown Frozen Template or Anna Crown Frozen Template and clip, click over to the images and you can see a whole bunch pop up. So you'll want one that is more like a black and white image and then that way it's easier to use as a template or to convert to an SVG. So I'm going to click on this one from Clip Art Library. I've had good luck with them. And if you click on it a second time, it will take you right to the web page. You can see here that they have quite a few. And the ones that are obviously like this crown here with the sheen shine coming off of it, that's probably not going to work to convert to an SVG but they'll work okay for printing. But again, if you're just printing out a template, don't waste your ink on these ones with all the color, especially if you have a color printer. So if you click on one, simple one like this, this will come in as a PDF. You can print right from here or you can download it. So print it off as a template, download it as a PDF, and then just go to an online converter and convert it from a PDF to an SVG file. Then you can upload the SVG file to your Cricut or Silhouette, whatever uh, die cutting machine and program that you use. So I'm going to get everything cut out on my end and we'll get this put together. Okay, I've got everything cut out. I bought these little hair clips from my local dollar store and I'm actually going to attach them to the crowns just along the edge so they can clip in to the little girl's hair and then that way the crown will stay on. I also picked up these assorted rhinestones and I might throw some rhinestones here and there on them. I added a band for the bottom of this one because I thought it would look better and I cut out a triangle, sorry, a diamond to go on the inside. I'm gonna use hot glue to put these together so let's get started.
So there we go, all done. Aren't these super cute? Easy to put in a little girl's hair. Clips will keep it in place. Inexpensive to make, very easy to make. And if your girl loves the movie Frozen, she's gonna love having these crowns. Again, made from a few items from the dollar store, probably less than a dollar a crown. And if she's careful with them, she could wear them lots. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.